Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 1.20. So there's a couple things I want to do for this episode, one of them being making a habitat for this axolotl friend that we found last episode. The thing is, I don't know where to put it yet, but we'll figure it out. For now, there's a couple of chores that I want to do that'll help us as we close in on the end game. So let me check this real quick and get some of this. So first things first, I'm finally going to start that nether wart farm that I've been talking about for ages. If we have nether wart on hand, we'll be able to make potions that'll help us fight the ender dragon and the wither. So let's get to digging. This ain't Texas. It's a good start, but I need some more soul sand, so I will be right back. Fifty-eight should be enough. All right, here we go. Ah, nothing like the souls of the dam to provide me sustenance. Anyway, so we did that. <laughs> what? I think there's a creeper upstairs. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Oh, there he is. Yep, move away from the... The real way to heaven. All right. Where is their skeleton at? Why are there things all around that I can't see? Skeleton. Oh, he's over there. How did I miss him the first time? Cool. I should have no more interruptions then, theoretically. Alright, so just because I feel like I need the extra food, I think I'm going to go and grab the chickens and the pigs and then bring them back here. It's been long overdue. Wow, I feel like now that I said that, the game is deliberately preventing anything from spawning. Oh, I, never mind. There's a pig. Hello, pig and chicken. I can only grab one at a time, really. Is there nobody else in this forest? <laughs> I just want to take home some food. Hello? Oh, there's another one. All right, come with me. We'll find your we'll find your lifelong partner, and then we'll take you home. All right, come along, piggies. Oh, there's a tree. Come along. Oh, a third one. It's the three little pigs. <laughs> uh, oh, I lost one. Come back. Hello? There we go. Thank you. We're almost there. Come inside. Very good. And now for a feathered food. I mean friends. Hello, chicken. We have another one of you somewhere? Oh, I see one in the distance. Come along. Hello, chickity. Chickity chick chew. Chicky chew. Come on. Come inside. Make yourself at home. Have have fun in captivity. <laughs> okay, I think I've had enough time to figure out where I want to put the axolotl habitat, and I think I'm going to dig down another layer. So let's get to digging. The cards down, down. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't know there was a geode nearby, but I'll have to go explore that later. Here we go. Alright, so we're on the next level down, and I've carved out this space. I think it'll be large enough for what uh, I kind of have in mind, so I'm gonna try to toy around with the scenery a little bit and try to make it look more natural. Alright, I think I got a cute little contour of the shape of the pond here. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is add some foliage across the bottom, and then I'll probably let the little guy free. I should probably also give him a name tag, so let's do that. I haven't really thought about what I should name him, but... You know what, since he's golden yellow, I'm gonna call him something cute. Dandelion! Oh, that's cute. Alright. Um, and then... We get some foliage. Oh, wait, do I have any? I have some kelp. I have some glow lichen. And some small drip leaves and some lily pads, that's perfect. Oh. 
Look at that, it looks so much more natural than it did before, and I really like how it's looking so far. Of course it's a little dark over here, but these glowberry vines will start lighting up the place pretty soon, so I think it's about time that we release this guy back into the water. And now to bestow the name Dandelion. Come here. Oh, oh I did it! Hi Dandelion, you're so cute! You know what, I should probably put some fence gates here or something so that uh, he can't escape. I'll be right back. Alright, and there is the fence. I'm definitely going to come back and work on this a bit more because, you know, I think there are some imperfections here. Like this dripstone could probably use like a, a whole patch around it or something. And of course, Standalion could use a couple friends, so I'll have to find some more axolotls and bring them back here to live in Sanctuary. So, but that's one task that we've completed so far. The next task is going to be a bit of a challenge. But one thing I'd like to do right now is visit an ancient city. The journey is going to be long and grueling, but I've got to see what kind of treasures lay hidden beneath the ground. So let's get moving. Alright, so as you can see I've gathered a few extra resources like wool to absorb sound and some extra light with these two stacks of torches. I decided to check the map again and saw that this was the location of the nearest end city. Of course I don't have a section of the nether cut out for that just yet, so we're going by foot. Wish me luck. So the ancient city is somewhere right below us. We're on top of a mountain and this is probably the best way to get inside through caves, so let's -a go. They say never dig straight down, but right now I don't really care. Oh. Where? Oh, hi. Good lord. Uh oh. Go away. Alright, here's an entrance to the deepest depths. Before long, I'll find the deep dark in the ancient city. <gasps> oh, there it is. Okay. I gotta figure out a safe spot nearby to put my bed. Ow. Ooh. Okay, this is not the best spot. Maybe just tucked away over here is the best spot. Okay, there's my spawn point. I'm so glad that this isn't like, uh... You know, proximity chat activated, because that would suck. God, I don't think I'm even ready for this. Hey, I don't see any shriekers yet. Oh, you know what? I forgot the wool. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, you're annoying. Oh god, you're all annoying. Oh, I should block this side off. Yeah, get... Get blocked. <laughs> get blocked. Alright, well, let me get this wall out. Can you go away? Oh. Well, there's that challenge. So I think this spot is safe. Okay, there's the first treasure chest. Um, I don't see any shriekers. I don't think- I don't think I see any shriekers. Okay. I might risk it now. Oh. Go away! Zombies are annoying. And it really just spreads everywhere. There doesn't appear to be a shrieker over here. So. Here we go. Ooh, echo shards. Well, I'll take the flame. And what's over here? Ooh. A disc fragment. Okay. 
So I got three disc fragments. I want to take this too. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no. Okay. No more of that. All right, sneaking out. <laughs> Sneak it out. Okay, we're safe over here. Oh, there's a shrieker right in there next to a chest. That's gonna be the most risky. And over lava too. Ugh. Shut up. Oh god, that's the worst. Hold on, I wanna... I wanna see if I can... Should I destroy the shrieker itself? Does that prevent the warden from spawning maybe? I'm just gonna- I'm gonna double check that real quick. Alright, so if I destroy that shrieker, I should be able to prevent the warden from spawning. Here we go. Oh, this is not gonna go well, I can tell. I think I'm too high. Uh-oh. There's another shrieker over there. Oh. Am I close enough? I don't think so. I'm still not close enough. Okay. Oh. I think that worked. Shut up. Ooh, other side. I'll take that. A skull catalyst might be useful. Okay. There's another chest over there. Oh god, and like two, three different shriekers. I don't think that's worth it. I'm not gonna go that way. What about over there? There's a shrieker over there. Oh, there's two shriekers? I don't think I'm gonna be able to... Mm. There's three. Okay, this is not worth it. Get out of here. Okay, there's shriekers over there. Going back this way. I'm gonna put some of my my treasures away before I can lose them. Oh, okay. Don't want to cause any problems. <gasps> no. You asshole. You asshole. I mean, do I even keep going? I feel like I got what I wanted already. Like, I really just came for other side, if I'm being honest. Um, if I get three more of these fragments, I think I can finish the disc, right? Oh, but it, do I really want to go? It's risky, but I think I'm willing to take that risk. Maybe I can enter from over there. I should be safe here for now. There's another shrieker down there, but if that's the only one, then I have a better chance of getting something there successfully from that chest. I think I'm, I think I'm willing to take that risk. So, wish me luck. Come on. One. Oh god, okay. It was like somewhere in that direction, I think. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> uh oh. Where's the other shrieker? <gasps> I think I'm pushing my luck. Let me just uh, take a moment to breathe. I should be safe up here anyway, right? Oh, okay. Not worth it. Okay. <gasps> 
Uh oh. Stop it. I think this is just too risky. So, <laughs> before anything happens, I just want to leave. I don't want to cause any problems. Thank you. <laughs> I just gotta swim my way back up, and then I'll be good. <laughs> okay, so this is all the loot that I got so far from my first attempt at this ancient city. I definitely want to come back later because I want to see what else the city has to offer, and I just want to take out all the um, sensors. So, yeah. Ooh. Don't do that. I think that's my cue to leave after sleep. All right, I gotta escape. Oh my gosh, fresh sunlight. Ah! All right, this way to home. Yay, we're home. All right, so these are all of our little treasures that we brought back. I'd say this first attempt was pretty successful and for the first time we also got a couple gapples, so that's even better. But a revisit is in order, so we'll watch out for that at a later time. Unfortunately, it looks like that's all the time we have for this episode. If you liked everything you saw, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on future content like this. My name's Payotic, signing off. Bye!